for sure. <laughs> You're all like Batman. <laughs> Training in the woods for years with scholars and monks. Exceptionally creative problem solvers, except of course your parents were not killed in a make believe city. <laughs> you entered Hampshire being the only student from your high school who'd heard of miso soup or neutral milk hotel. <laughs> but you leave now knowing that isn't what makes you special, if even you are special. <laughs> It's a wonderful, innovative place. I met some of my closest friends here, and Hampshire's way of thinking has shaped my life and career. You took a personal responsibility to navigate your own education. No one told you what classes to take, and as a result, none of you know math. <laughs> Science Division One, which I did my second to last semester before I graduated. I don't even know if that's a thing you can do now. I took a semester off before it because it seemed so overwhelming to me. My paper, which I did do, my paper was on the physiology of laughter. I worked very hard on it, though it was based on medically outdated thesis and full of misinformation. I picked the top before I knew that most modern literature on the physiology of laughter was only in regard to schizophrenia. <laughs> before that, most theories dated back to the late 1800s. So I wrote about those. Still, I learned a lot about the brain science methodology. I got to include a footnote that when you looked at the bottom of the page, it just said, made you look. <laughs> Why? Because once I finished the whole paper, my professor, Herb Bernstein, said, no one's ever going to test your math skills again. And I mistakenly said, what, like learn logarithms? And he was like, yes. And I was like, wait, I don't know what that means. I don't even know what I said. And he's like, no, you have to do it. So I called my father, who's a math and he came from Lexington, Mass, and for two days and taught me logarithms. I then passed. The, the point is, I used to know a little math. No. The point is, Hampshire teaches you to set a goal whose scope you don't understand and then obtain it two days later with the support of 